Okay, we're going to uh, start diving now. And this is the first dive of the twins. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Gabby. And, and my name is Noel. Oh, there's your mom. I think your mom is uh, excited also. Yeah, it was our first time to dive. Okay, good. So the excitement will start now because now you're entering the boat. Okay, there's your mom who's very sexy. Huh? So, there you are. You, you seem to be afraid. Um, are you yeah. afraid? Huh? I was a bit afraid. A little. But okay. after a while, it was okay. Okay, that's Pelayo. Who's the, who's the body of Pelayo? Gabby. Gabby. So, Noel, who's your body? Uh, John, John. John, John. Oh, okay, <laughs> look, look at Pelayo. He's Jun Jun. <laughs> so, Pelayo is giving some instructions. And there's your mama, oh, your sexy mom. So there, okay, so um, in a few uh, seconds, you're going to start uh, diving now. Unfortunately, there's a problem here. My, my camera pumped up, so your back roll, I was not able to shoot it. I think my, I have a video for that. Oh, you have a video? Never mind. So uh, this is already you know, active now. So that's uh, Jun Jun. Okay, so this is a perfect dive. You know why? Because you're diving one-on-one. -on -one. When you're diving one-on-one -on -one with a professional, either a dive master or a, or instructor, nothing can go wrong. Okay, but it's quite expensive because it's one-on-one -on -one diving. Okay, imagine you're diving with an instructor, the other guy is a dive master. So, so what if it's, it's if it's expensive? If your mom can afford, right? <laughs> your mom can afford the money. So you're ready now. You're ready now. However, we cannot see the back roll. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's see if you're diving properly. Okay. Okay. So if you're diving properly, we can see from the video. Okay. I know for a fact that you were not diving good because you're not feeling well. I'll tell you exactly why you're not feeling well when I see the video. <clears throat> All right. This is the reason why you need to see the video so you can tell what's What's wrong with your diving? I was bicycle kicking. Ah. <laughs> and this is our first time diving, so we didn't know. You didn't know. Okay. That's why there's a video, eh? so you okay. can see exactly what you're doing. So the plan here is we follow the line, right? Yes. Okay. So as soon as you get to the line, <clears throat> um, we go to the wall. This is what you call uh, wall diving. In, uh, in Alona, it's wall diving. So not all... Uh, Resorts have uh, a fantastic dive site. You need to go to Anilao or you need to go to Bohol to be able to uh, do wall diving. Also Cebu. Mm. Yeah, wall diving is the best. There's two kinds of diving, slope diving and wall diving. Ako, I, I love wall. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't like so much the slope. Eh. Okay, so the instructors are getting ready. Oh, there's Pilayo. He wants to tell you how to back roll properly. <clears throat> okay, so we're going. So we're going to see Pelayo. He's uh, telling you to breathe. <clears throat> Never hold your breath. Okay, because if you hold your breath, that's going to be very, very, very difficult because you don't want to rupture your lungs. So in diving. Breathe continuously and never, never, never hold your breath. Okay, so that's that's the golden rule in diving. All right. If you're uh, snorkeling, no problem. Because there's no compressed air inside your body. All right. The compressed air is composed of nitrogen and oxygen. The nitrogen is about 80%, 20% oxygen. That's that's the that's the um, <coughs> that's the one you have mixed in your tank. All right. So you are now ready to scuba dive. Okay. So more instructions by Pelayo. Uh, are you listening to Pelayo here? Yes. Oh, you think it's good? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. What are you pointing? What are you pointing? It's 34 minutes. That's okay. 34 minutes. Uh, by the, it's going to be very, very fast. Okay. Don't worry because um, the uh, everything is already muted and this is going to be fast. And... 
Let's do it now. There you go. He back rolls. It's a per perfect back roll. And then he's going to go around the boat um, to make sure that you're doing it right. There, he's going at the back of the boat. Okay. So both both divers they went down to make sure that if you have trouble, they can help you. Yes. Okay. So now, who's gonna back roll first? However, um, there's there's no video. Oh, there's no video. You almost fell, oh. So be careful. See, you almost fell in the boat. Yeah. You need to have your buttocks quite uh, quite far so you can easily back roll. So when you back roll. You, you have to normally say to the to the boatman uh, is everything clear next time I'll tell you to do that to make sure there's no sharks there's no rocks <laughs> okay so everything's clear oh it's clear oh, okay you back roll so now you're scuba diving already so I'm holding it to make sure that there are no corals on the rope because if there's corals on the rope it's going to be painful Right? That's why I asked them, are, are there already corals on the rope? Because or else I will have uh, injury. Okay, now I ask, I will ask you, who is in front? Noel or Gabby? Um, you don't know? You don't remember who's in I front? I Gabby was in front. Are you in front, oh, yeah, Gabby? Yeah, yeah. I'm You're in front. front. <clears throat> okay, all right. Look at the way you pin. Who's pinning here at the back? Noel. Look at your pin. That's a frog. That's a frog kick. I, I didn't know how. You want to be a frog? You never that, taught me how. Hey, you're kicking like a frog. But now I do it properly already. Yeah, you're doing it properly. You're kicking like a frog. Okay. <laughs> All right, you know what? Maybe that's Gabby. Huh? Maybe that's Gabby. Not you're not even sure who, would, who that was? I look, can't oh, see. look at the pinning. Oh, totally wrong. Oh. <laughs> the legs are separating, huh? Oh. Huh? Okay. So the plan is we are we are supposed to go to the mall. You know, I would know if you're if you're panicking. You know why? If you're panicking, there will be a lot of bubbles. Your bubbles now are quite normal. But if there's so many bubbles, that's a sign of panicking. When you're panicking, you hyperventilate. Do you know what hyperventilate oh, means? Wait a minute. You answer my question. Do you know what hyperventilate is? Yeah, yeah. So you're breathing too much, too much, uh, too much nitrogen, and then there's gonna be many, many bubbles because you're hyperventilating. Well, so we can see that. Okay. So what? What's your question? I just realized the one who was <laughs> the one who was kicking was not me. It was the instructor. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think he was assisting us. That's why he was kicking me. That's how he was kicking the instructor. The bad kick was the instructor. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Never mind. We, we don't we don't tell that to the video because uh, we don't want to offend the instructor. No, but the okay. instructor was very good, right? <clears throat> Who's wearing this yellow yellow shorts? The instructor. Ah, the instructor's wearing yellow shorts. Oh, uh, okay. that 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 was Pilayo. That was Pilayo. Uh, no. Yeah, that was Pilayo. Yeah. Oh, who's 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 here now? That is me and Jun Jun. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll I'll give you one tip. Huh? Okay. Never be on top of your instructor. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm going down right uh, now. Look look at that. Oh, oh, that's already a mistake. You seem to be popping up. Oh, see, you're on top of your instructor. That's totally wrong. You are not supposed to be on top of him. Mm -hmm. Or else, or else that's going to be trouble. So uh, make sure you're always uh, either level with your with your instructor, or you may be a little bit deeper. You understand what I'm saying, huh? You understand? Yes. Okay. So now, let's see. Who's in front? Gabby. Look at the kick of Gabby. Where's Gabby here? Right or left? Right. Right. Oh, what a bad kick! <laughs> What a bad kick by Gabby! Huh? Because we're so close to the floor! You're, bi you're bicycling eh! <laughs> you're okay, bicycling eh! We get it from our mom! <laughs> yeah! You learn how to bicycle because of your mom! Mm. Oh, also, 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 Noel is bicycling oh! Where's Noel here on the right? Yeah! 
to. Look at look at your feet, oh. So bad. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I never use fins. May, maybe. This is my maybe. first time ever to use fins. Really? Yeah. No wonder. Maybe you have to take a bicycle lesson na lang. <laughs> not, not scuba diving lesson. Oh. Okay. So normally, as what I taught you, uh, if you're diving, to be safer, where do you want to stay? In the right. Right. Why? Why? Because um, the instructor or the dive master can easily adjust your um, inflate or lift. Yeah, if there's problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you become a better diver, Okay, that's what you want to do. You want to stay on the left. Yes. Okay. Because or else you have to go, go around. Pa. Okay, what's yeah. the golden rule in scuba diving? Never hold your breath. Why? What's wrong if you hold or your else breath? You're... What's you're... wrong with that? Or else you are going to uh, what? erupt. You will have what? Lung problems. Ruptured lungs. Ruptured lungs. Yes. You want to have ruptured lungs? No. no. Why? You can live again? No. Sometimes you can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the golden rule. What's the second rule? Um, don't ascend. Don't ascend fast. Why? Yeah. What? What normally happens to a diver if you if you your, ascend fast? Your lungs will also erupt. No. You need no. to go to the compression chamber. You might need to go to the, the compression the chamber. chamber. Yeah, because okay. because you you were ascending too fast. Right. Okay. So so number one rule is. Never hold your breath. Number two, don't ascend fast. Don't ascend fast. As long as you remember those two golden rules, you will be a safe diver. Okay? What does SESA mean? SESA is... Controlled. Controlled. Emergency. emergency swimming. swimming. Ascend. Ascend. And you have to say, ah. And you say, ah. Right? Swim as fast yep. as you can. Huh? And you have to swim as fast as you can. No, not really. Uh, depends. If you are very, very deep, we practice. But this. if you're very shallow, not not really a problem. You know, you can actually practice sesa in the swimming pool. We practice in the sesa swimming pool. ten times. Sorry. Yeah, but really, you have a swimming pool, right? Yes. yes. You can practice that also in your swimming pool, sesa. Okay. It's just just uh, saying ah, uh, breathing. Okay. You never never hold your breath. What do you think of the corals here? Really? Earlier we saw a... No, no, I'm talking about this dive. What do you think of the coral? It's nice. Nice? The colorful ones are nice too. Yeah. We saw Nemo. Yeah. I, I think every kid, they love Nemo, no? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, like Look a movie. at that, no? There's a movie called Finding Nemo. It's oh, all about Nemo. Oh, yeah, yeah, Nemo's yeah, yeah. Story. That's why that's why they like Nemo. Yes. I pointed Nemo so many times a while yeah. ago. Nemo and Dory. Oh, did you see Dory today? No. Uh, maybe. I think, I think I did. Yeah, okay. Alright, so uh, how old are you? 13. See, that's why you can enjoy diving. If I learn diving at 13, oh my god, I'll be so happy. Do you know why I'm happy when I'm, when I'm diving? Why? I get so relaxed. Do you know why? The nitrogen relaxes your body. Oh, yeah. yeah That's why so, you can sleep very well. Yes. The only thing it's bad because if you hold your breath, that's the problem. So, if, so what? If our first dive is small, will it go downhill from there? Again, again? If our first dive is small, <laughs> will it go downhill from there? What do you mean downhill? Like, like the other dives, it won't be as nice. Ah, that's a problem because ball is very nice. <laughs> yeah, but if you dive the, like Anilao, Puerto Galera, it's comparable. Mm. Okay. You haven't been to the best dive site of Bohol yet. You know why? Why? Because the best dive site is Balikasal. Yeah. Even do, do, do you think your, ma your mama has enough money to bring it to Balikasal? You only saw the top part. <laughs> but it's okay because it was very Can you nice. tell your dad na lang to, you know, to <clears throat> give you some money to dive uh, Balikasag? <laughs> it's 7,000 7, for both of you. 3,500 for problem, two dives. Oh. The only problem Look how nice, oh. Yes. That's considering I don't have a red filter. Huh? The GoPro is very nice, oh. Look, oh. What's a red filter? When you dive, you put a red filter, it will neutralize all the colors. It will show the best color. So when you're a videographer, you always put a red filter in your camera. It's still very nice. Yeah, but considering if you had the red filter, it would even be nicer. <coughs> it will be nicer. Yes. 
Kasi without the red filter, it's a little bit bluish. Yeah, yes. Because uh, my, my GoPro does not have a, a red filter. But it's still very nice. <coughs> still very nice, no? Anyway, so let's see. Uh, let's see uh, whether uh, you can do an uh, uh, advanced course. Advanced course, after you finish open water, because you already uh, graduate, you're going to do deep dive. Okay? Do you know why deep dive is nice? Why? Because you have more nitrogen. The more nitrogen you have, the better you will feel. You know what they call that? Why? <coughs> nitrogen narcosis. Why? Hmm? You don't know why? Ask your mom. What is nitrogen narcosis? Ask your mom. <laughs> yeah. When you have when, when you have nitrogen, when you have nitrogen, especially when you go deep, it's like getting tipsy. You know what tipsy is? Yes. Have, you, have you ever been tipsy? No. No? No. Tipsy? Tipsy is like you're like you're lightheaded. I searched. Huh? Oh, 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 what do you what do you search? Nitrogen narcosis is a change in consciousness, mm. neuromuscular function, and behavior brought on by breathing compressed insert gases. Mm. It also has um, also has been called death intoxication narcs and rapture yeah that's very hard to understand me you know why i dive why because i like nitrogen narcosis that's why that's why that's why you know i have a problem the other instructors will, will tell the other students don't dive with uh, mr baron because he's going to go bring you to the deep and it's dangerous and it's true. <laughs> I don't care if I don't she have students. She already brought us 22. Yeah, you see that? That's you almost, see that? <laughs> that's almost nitrogen narcosis. That's so close. You see? <laughs> do you know at what depth is hard to get started? Do you feel lightheaded? Oh, oh. oh, wait a minute. Let's look you at the video. 22. What's happening here? What's happening here? What is, what is uh, Pelayo trying to tell you? trying to tell you something. Oh, take a photo, I think. Take a photo? You know, you know, Pelayo, you're so you're so uh, lucky with Pelayo. He's an instructor, right? And he's teaching you everything without getting paid, huh? Imagine that, huh? Whoa. You say thank you to Pelayo. Thank you. Thank you. Pelayo, Bohol Divers. You see that? That's the service of uh, Pelayo. Okay. So, I think what Pelayo is trying to tell you here is trying to have a good buoyancy okay you know you know you you know you you can tell a diver if a diver has bad buoyancy yeah how can you tell you can tell if they have bad buoyancy if they keep on going everywhere and they can't stay in one place and they go up and down okay the simpler you say it if a diver keeps up moving his hands and feet Always moving his hands and feet, that's bad buoyancy. Because, do you know why they move their hands? To, to stay in one place. No, because they're trying to compensate their their buoyancy. So instead of uh, inflating or deflating, they keep on moving their hands. So if, if uh, people see you, you keep on moving your hands, that means to say, you're your buoyancy is bad. Yeah, because you keep on moving your hands and then you keep on moving your feet. You're compensating it by moving your hands and moving your feet. So if your feet are quiet and your hands are quiet, that means your buoyancy is almost perfect. Do you know how to uh, have perfect buoyancy? How? You have to dive more. So the more you practice. dive, yeah, practice, practice makes perfect. If you keep on diving, your, your buoyancy becomes much, much better. That's why uh, if you don't dive too much, you lose your buoyancy. Yep. You understand? So uh, what's happening here? I can see the two of you. Both of us you are. I don't know. You know the mistake here. What? Now you're okay, but mm -hmm. normally you're too far apart. But I could not get mad at them because they're you know they're working for free right <laughs> but you were so far apart 
They were working for free. Yeah, because an instructor will always charge you. It's called Discover Scuba Diving. If you want to do, if you want to do Discover Scuba Diving, okay, that's that that is a, that is going to be a, a a special dive. It's called Discover Scuba Diving. Normally, Discover Scuba Diving entails about uh, three thousand pesos. Oh, we're going to eat. I, I want to finish this, all right? No, no, I, uh, I'll finish it. I can eat later because um, once this is finished, I can upload. So, we're gonna eat now. The, the twins are hungry. Oh, wow, that's a lot of uh, crispy pata and that's a lot of rice. Thank you. So, so now the, the dive is almost finished. So, uh, we're now going we're now going with the current a while ago we were going against the current but now we're diving with the current because uh, we're almost we're almost done okay so the problem with scuba diving is after you dive you're so hungry you're not helping me anymore you're eating already you're so hungry now I want to I want to finish this already yeah Diving really makes you hungry. But me, what I like with diving is the nitrogen narcosis. It's better than eating. Because when you have uh, nitrogen narcosis, uh, you are lightheaded. You really feel very, very good. Now, wow, so much bubbles coming out. So I would like to suggest, if you want to have uh, fantastic diving, uh, you, can, you can fly to Bohol. And uh, you try out uh, Bohol divers because the advantage of Bohol divers is that uh, uh, they they have excellent service. What do you think of the service of uh, the Bohol divers? What do you think? Very good. Very good, right? Excellent, right? They even put your fins right before you dive. Huh? You are uh, you get too spoiled, correct? Yes. Especially uh, when you're diving with the owner, uh, Mr. Pelayo. Mr. Pelayo. Yeah. Pelayo is actually uh, an instructor uh, based in Bohol and uh, he's from Spain. Yes, you might want to learn some, uh, you know, some uh, Spanish. I'm sure Pelayo can teach you a little of Spanish. There's Pelayo right in front. Uh, I think that's a yellow shorts yes normally the divers especially the instructors they want to wear something that they can easily be recognized like wearing uh, you know a very colorful shorts so you can easily spot them but the others you know what the others the instructors or dive master they wear two separate colors of the pin you know why because if you wear two separate colors of the pin you can easily recognize them because imagine the pin has two colors normally they choose uh, uh, very uh, bright colors like red you know yellow they don't like to uh, know, buy the black because the black is uh, not easily uh, recognizable All right so the wall is really fantastic you know? we have a nice wall in Bohol now we're drifting with the current So there are two kinds of diving, the wall and the slope. I really prefer the wall because the wall is normally on your right shoulder. Okay, not, not, well, not unless, not unless you're um, probably diving where the wall is on the left. Sometimes it depends on the tide, if it's flooding or if it's uh, uh, ebbing. All right, so it depends. So uh, the walls we have in the Philippines are basically uh, walls in uh, walls in Mactan. The walls in Mactan. Uh, wait, let's try. Uh, no, let's try uh, Singaporean sling. Yeah, we're drinking right now. It's already cocktail while uh, we're doing the commentary work. You like Singapore sling? Oh, sige, margarita, margarita. Okay. Yes, the best time to. Uh, 
to, to dive is right after the dive you have breakfast or right after the dive you have lunch but for me the best is right after a dive you have a cocktail like what we're doing now we did the sunset sunset dive and we're now drinking we're actually staying now in Henan Henan Resort and I would like to tell you that Henan here in Bohol is really beautiful you, uh, if you like to have a private villa you can do so but of course it entails uh, a lot of money so Pelayo is trying to teach uh, is it you Gabi? okay here you can see Pelayo is trying to teach Gabi uh, I'm not sure no, what he's trying to teach uh, well maybe some skills that uh, was he trying to teach you some skills? Maybe he was um, trying to take a photo of me. Or like telling you. Ah, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was okay. trying to make me do a pose for a photo. Ah, alright. That's why he told you to display. So, uh, so it's uh, easier for for the photo. Because if you deflate, that means to say you're going to hit the, the sandy area. Oh, here! There's something wrong here. Gabby is shooting up. Wait, are you Gabi? You're the one with Playa? Oh, so that's Noel. Look at Noel. Oh, you're shooting up. Oh, look, look, oh. look, 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 Noel. Oh, you're shooting up. Oh, that's so, all I meant. Yeah, you see, you're shooting up, and your your dive master is down. But anyway, that, do you know what you call that? That's what you call yo yo diving. You want to become a yo yo diver? Huh? Well, only problem is when you shoot up, you have to be careful you don't get hit by a moving boat. Huh? Because if you get hit by a moving boat, what happens to you? <laughs> you get your head chopped off. <laughs> Depends. Depends, you know, on what's going to uh, get hit by the propeller. So anyway, uh, that's why uh, it's important that you need the... Uh, we need a good uh, dive master instructor to be guiding you because uh, if the guides are not good, then uh, it's going to be trouble. So, so far, oh, I can see Gabby now trying to be very, very buoyant by while being photographed by Pelayo here, while uh, Noel was trying to shoot up because he was. She was inflating too much. All right. So, what's the technique in uh, in deflating? You have to what? When you deflate, you have to be, um, put your hand up really high when deflating. Because just say you have to be vertical. Okay, you have to be vertical because Everything. the air might be trapped. And if it's super trapped, then you have to quack quack quack. <laughs> yeah, you have to remove the air. Okay. <laughs> because if you're horizontal, it's very difficult to remove the air. Correct. All right, so uh, the dive is almost over. So normally, what we do, we do kind of deep dive, and then we end up shallow. So when we end up shallow, it doesn't mean we're going up, okay? Normally, we do some skills on the shallow part. Even if you're low on air, air like 50 bar, you can still spend the 20 to 30 minutes there. So that's one thing nice with the diving shallow. You know, as a matter of fact, I have friends, they dive for three hours. You know why? Because they only dive very shallow. So they can di dive for three hours. Yeah. Because there are some uh, dive sites that when you dive shallow, uh, there's so many uh, small fish for macro. And uh, when you dive very shallow, you don't consume so much air. Are you aware of that? When you dive deeper, you consume more air. So, so like in my case, I cannot dive too long because I prefer diving deeper so I cannot stay too long. You have more consumption of the air when you're diving deeper. So if you want to stay longer, dive shallow. So what's your choice? Shallow or deep dive? Um, I think sometimes you should experience diving deep. But sometimes if you want to stay there for a long time, then it's good to experience diving for a long time too. Ah, okay. So again, oh, look at look at you, Noel. Oh. 
you're, you're going up again. Why? What, what happened to the first dive, Noel? Can you tell me why? Again? Ah, I didn't teach you yet. Okay. So, so it's my it's my fault. Because I should have taught you. You know why you made a mistake? It's not it's not that I didn't teach you it. Because the mistake was during the dive plan, I said once you deflate everything, don't don't try to play around with it now. Problem lang is you forgot what I said. Because once you start playing around with your inflator hose, it's going to be a problem. All right, look, the dive is almost finished. Look at that, huh? It's almost finished. Yes. So uh, you're okay. So when you go up, what happens? What do you What do you give first? We give our weight belt. Weight belt. Okay, that's the first one. But huh? in our case, we put the weight belt in our pockets. It's yes, easier. yes. I made it easier. Because if you put your, you know why normally I want my divers to put their weight belts uh, on the pocket? Okay. To make sure they don't drop the, 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 no, 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 it's not the weight belt. It's the, uh, uh, the weights. Because when you drop the weights, like for example, it's too heavy, you have to pay for it. And it's, and it's quite expensive. You know, one weight now uh, can cost you about uh, 800 to 1,000 if, if it falls. That's only for one weight. And what if you have three of that? So anything you drop, they cannot find it. You know, you have to pay. So you have to be careful that you don't drop anything. Oh, this is nice. It's almost sunset now. So uh, divers are coming up already. And anyway, you, you seem to be happy. Who is that? You seem to be happy. Oh, the first diver who went up. Me, that's Gabby. You? That's you? Yes. Oh, you seem to be happy. Yeah, huh? it was fun. Ah, it was really fun. Oh, there's even high five by Pelayo. Did you see the high five mm -hmm. by Pelayo? Oh, imagine first dive you really had fun, huh? So the second diver who's going up is Noel. I'm sure ha Noel will not have a happy face. Why? I don't know. No. Let's see. Let's see if you have a happy face. Let's see. If oh there. <laughs> Gabby had the happy face. Eh? Let's see naman Noel. Are you happy with your food? Oh. oh, wow. Oh, looks like a happy face also. Oh, so she enjoyed also. So there's only a mistake here. I told you, always put your mask on the neck. Because once you drop it, once you drop it, you pay again. Okay? So remember that. Always put your mask on your neck so you don't drop it okay the worst part if uh, you have a, a computer and if it falls oh wow look at Laura Lee oh happy in see Laura Lee hmm? so now I, I keep I keep on I keep on talking and you keep on finishing my food huh? okay anyway I have uh, a few more few more minutes and there uh, we're back to the resort after uh, first one by one, one by dive one. here in uh, Alona, Alona, do you know why it's called Alona? No. You should research. There's this famous uh, uh, celebrity. Her name was Alona Alegre. So, Alona Alegre, huh? No, I, I'm not. I'm not joking. I think they named it after her. <coughs> okay. That's why it's called Alona Beach. So imagine. I don't know if she's still alive. Oh, look at this guy, oh, Pelayo, he's so strong, oh, he's carrying two tanks. That's why probably I broke my back because of carrying so much tanks. Eh. But Pelayo is very, very strong. Oh, now, now you're done. So, uh, they're going to teach you how to assemble and disassemble. That's the extra service you got from Bohol Divers. So, thank you very much, Bohol Divers, for teaching my divers. Uh, how to dive properly with your guidance underwater you. and also now you're giving them uh, some pointers on uh, on how to assemble the gear and also disassemble